What's the difference between a wet sump engine and a dry sump engine? This XR650R is a good example of a dry sump engine. First of all, the sump is the bottom part of the motor where the oil sits in. If you're familiar with a sump pump, similar idea. If you're familiar with British trials, you know what a sump stop is. So this would be an example of a wet sump. Certainly very simplified, but the oil sits in the bottom of the motor. The oil pump picks it up, pumps it up to the top, and delivers it to the different parts of the motor. That's wet sump. This would be a dry sump, what we have on the bench here. There's very little oil that actually sits in the motor. The oil, as it runs down, gets picked up by an oil pump, pumped into the reservoir. Then that oil in the reservoir gets picked up by another pump, and pump to the top of the motor and then distribute it. Simply put, a dry sump motor has a separate oil reservoir. In this case, and many others like the Yamahas, the oil tank is inside the frame and you can see the drain is down here. One of the issues more on older dry sump engines tended to be that the oil would leak from the tank into the motor and that's called wet sumping a motor. In modern dry sump engines, the most important thing to remember is when you're changing the oil, you need to have the bike running for a while before you check the oil. It's quite common on these that I find that the oil level is too high because somebody has changed their oil, didn't know that and set the oil level before the bike had actually run. 